Hello everyone and welcome to Cheap Entertainment. My name's Andy, thank you for tuning in. Um, today, uh, first video that's not a short film or me shooting Takis. Um, today's video, I'm gonna give a tour of my physical media library. I absolutely love watching these on YouTube. I spend hours watching them. I just like to see what other people have in their collection. So I figured what the hell, be a perfect first video that's not a short film or me shooting Takis. So, yeah, that's why we're here today, and um, kind of a struggle, you know, I'm not used to talking to the camera or being in front of it, so a little nervous, kind of struggled a bit. Please bear with me and have some patience. So, before we get to the tour, I want to show off the shirt that I got. I have already taken like five selfies with this thing because I absolutely love it. I went to the mall today with my wife and friends of ours, and I was hanging out with, with my dude, and... I walked by uh, Route 21, which apparently they sell guys' clothes now. Did not know that. And uh, I walked by this mannequin. This mannequin had this shirt on. And I looked at it, and I looked at my dude. I was like, that's mine. I'm going in there and buying it. And the shirt in question, Miss Mia Wallace drinking her $5 shake at Jackrabbit Slim's. And check this out. Pulp Fiction logo. I was going to buy one at Target that was like this. It just had this logo on it, but I'm glad I held out and got this. So it's my new favorite shirt. Like I said, it's took like five selfies with it. Had to show it off before we got to the tour. So without further ado, let's go on the tour. First stop of the tour takes us to the back living room where we have my 55-inch Hisense 4K Roku TV. Awesome picture. And I love that it's a smart TV because it makes it super convenient to like Netflix or my personal favorite, Amazon Prime. Watch a lot of YouTube too. Obviously I stated in the intro. My F LG 4K player, the only player we've got up here. And some Stephen King DVDs because I've been on a King kick this Halloween. Don't know why. And Maximum Overdrive for the records, one of my favorite movies. Speaking of records, here's my records stereo and here are my blu-rays and 4ks i don't got very many 4ks but but they're in there they're buried in there and here's the back living room let's go to the basement drum set and here is my library slash basement theater that just is a mess and I do apologize about the mess I took a hiatus this summer because we got a pool and stuff was happening so I do plan on resuming this my DVDs and I have them on shelves like this because our basement has flooded and I'm hoping if it's off the ground a little bit nothing you know I won't have any more damaged stuff because one flow we had I did have some stuff damaged and I'm hoping that it doesn't happen again so that's kind of why I have them on these kind of shelves that we don't have any plans on finishing the basement so you know I'm not gonna go out in Ikea go to Ikea and get like super nice shelves so so yeah and I like them they have served me well so first stop on my Torah collection my VHS collection I don't have too many um, a lot of music VHS is on here Nothing spectacular in here. I mean, I love the stuff I have. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Fleet Red Dwarf, one through eight. Twin Peaks. And I do have the Laserdisc, the pilot on Laserdisc over there. Uh, Doctor Who. I got the two Doctor Whos with uh, Peter Cushing in it. And I think Amicus did that. And if I'm wrong about that, uh, please correct me in the comments below. Uh, fourth Doctor. I got most of his VHS tapes. He's my favorite doctor. I'm missing quite a bit though. And then I got Last Tango Paris. I got all these at a thrift store that just opened near me and I managed to make a customer mad. I didn't see him, but I was told that he was eyeballing these. So, and the thrift store even says, pick something up because the next time you, you come, it might not be there. So I just heeded their advice and did it. I also got the Twin Peaks in there too. So maybe one day I'll do a video about my VHS collection, but there's kind of like a brief summary of it, if you will. My CDs. I don't listen to CDs except for my car, but I I don't know. Like, I had to keep these. 
I primarily buy vinyl, if anything. Box sets. There's the projector. I know it's not the best projector, but for, you know, starting out, this whole, like, theater thing, it's kind of something good to, like, get your feet wet with, I feel. And I didn't really mind the quality too much. We tested it out in the garage and in the backyard. CDs, obviously. Here's some of my box sets. I got the doors. Genesis. I am missing one of the Genesis ones. It's the live DVDs, but hopefully they'll release those all on Blu-ray like they did Three Sides Live. Um, Led Zeppelin, the complete uh, two disc remasters. I held out on buying any of their albums because I knew they would do this and whatnot. And I didn't rebuy How the West Was One because the copy I've had since my junior year of high school still works and still does does me good. And I have all the rush. I have the the Atlantic years, I think it is, but it's hidden right there, obviously. Some more CDs. Uh, Richard Pryor box set. Right here, I got Judas Priest Metalology. Uh, Dystopia Megadeth, the album Chris Adler from Lamb, well, formerly Lamb of God was on. It's a pretty good album. And that's the only recent Megadeth album I own. Operation Live Crime. Growing up, my bro my dad played this for my brother and I, like, a lot. So I had to get it. And the long box copy of the reissue of the 998 Garage Days EP, my favorite EP of all time, if you were to ask me that question. Some DVD box sets over here. My, uh, my favorite DVD box sets I obviously display in this manner. I've had that Scarface one since I was in high school that comes with uh, lobby cards and a money clip and the a DVD copy of the original Scarface because if you don't know, the Al Pacino one is a remake. My signed Clerks 2 box set, this was a Best Buy exclusive and they were actually hard to find when they came out but I went to a Best Buy that wasn't near me and they had, I think, maybe four copies of it so I bought it. Um... Brian O'Halloran, who plays Dante Hicks, signed it. And he not only personalized it to me, but customized a line in the movie he said. It customized it with a line of movie he said, sorry. So, very nice guy. The first DVD box set I ever received was this Nightmare on Elm Street one. And I went to FYE today, and they have it for 25 bucks. My Nana bought it for me for like $90 for Christmas. And, but, you know, I know I have it on Blu-ray, but I, I love it. I love it. And sorry, Nana, that you had to spend $90 on it. But rest assured, I still love it. Kubrick box set. This was a game changer for me when this came out. This had three versions of the movie, plus the um, Document of the Dead documentary. And, man, this still one of my favorite box sets. And I do have the Second Sight one. I pre-ordered it, and I was lucky to get it. Um, I ordered the 4K one. Hopefully, they'll be here in November, and hopefully, I will be able to get it because they've been. Um, there's been problems. Like I think a a site that had them, I had to cancel orders because they couldn't get it or something. I don't know the schematics of it, but that's something I saw on Instagram the other day. Um, Back to the Future, the first DVD uh, set that got released. Um, I was so happy to get this for Christmas when it came out, and actually, I think this is the one that ended up getting recalled. Um, cause the widescreen, I guess there was a problem with like the framing of the widescreen and like all this other stuff. And you had, you could send it and get like replacements cause they corrected it and stuff. And I said, screw that. I waited for this long enough cause my VHS copies were like threading out. So I was like, yeah, screw it. I'll just deal with it. Uh, Blade Runner box set. Everything's still in it. A new line cinema box set. This, I love this has some of their iconic films in this thing. Let's see what we got. Pink Flamingos, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Player, The Mask, Seven, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, Boogie Nights, Wag the Dog, The Wedding Singer, Rush Hour, Blow, all three Lord of the Rings, Elf, The Notebook, Wedding Crashers, and a documentary about New Line Cinema. Absolutely love this. Some VHSs, I got the Godfather saga, which the complete epic which is the version of the movie, the uh, first two Godfathers re-edited in chronological order. I am severely disappointed in Paramount Pictures for not releasing a 
is like releasing an HD copy of this on Blu-ray or 4K. Um, it aired on HBO on demand, I guess, a couple years ago, and somebody ripped that, and I got a uh, bootleg DVD of it. So, so yeah, I have it on DVD, bootleg, Blu-ray, sorry, and VHS. Um, I love these two, the uh, 25th anniversaries of The Exorcist and Inner Dragon. The Inner Dragon was my dad's, and I just, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was the coolest. I still think it is the coolest thing. You know, it came with the video, the CD, a piece of the film, um, lobby cards, a book. Um, so yeah, and he ended up giving it to me years later because, you know, I'd display it and cherish it, and yeah, he was right. Bootleg VHS tapes. You can find pretty much all these on YouTube now. So, but I love bootlegs, obviously. And yeah, I don't come across bootleg VHSs that much anymore. So, uh, my childhood copy of episode one, you know, for what it's worth, like the nostalgia factor, I actually did like episode one. I mean, there's things I don't like about it, but you know, for the most part, I, I enjoyed it. And, you know, I was 12 years old and it was a new Star Wars movie. So, you know, I ate it up. Um, the entire series run on Cole Shack, the Night Stalker. My dad taped these off of sci-fi back in the day and they have some commercials with it. Pretty cool stuff. I am so happy I found these and they did not have mold on them. Um, last shelf, just some basic stuff. Um, those Star Wars have the, uh, laser disc rips of the theatrical ones that aren't anamorphic, non-anamorphic, but I, I kept them, obviously. I have those on, uh, Blu-rays to the uh, original trilogy. So, yeah, nothing like basic stuff here. And this Dolomite box set I got for like 10 bucks because I got it on clearance on my local Walmart. So, that was a pretty good bargain. So, before, trip over cord, before I go to my DVDs, let me show off my laser disc. I got vinyl right here and right here. Maybe one day I'll put it all upstairs. I don't know with the rest of them. Okay, first off, I got The Wildlife. This has been kind of referred to as a spiritual sequel of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. If you like Fast Times at Ridgemont High or you love it like I do, it's one of my all-time favorite movies, I highly recommend checking this out. Um, i seen this was getting a Blu-ray release and I'm pretty stoked for it. Hopefully they restore the original um, music, the theatrical music that um, was in the film when it was released in the theaters because if... Some movies got... Universal was notoriously bad for it. Um, Universal, I don't know if it was like a contract thing, a licensing thing, but a lot of movies, when it got released to home video, they had to uh, change some of the music cues in it because they didn't have the rights to put it on the home video release. And I'm, I don't know if they were necessarily bad about it, but it just it was just always an issue. And like fans of the films like, well, that song wasn't played in that scene and stuff. But hopefully we'll get the wildlife like the original uh, soundtrack restored with the music and whatnot, because I think a Prince song got played, um, a Madonna song got played, and I can't really think off the top of my head um, the other stuff. But I will say, last thing I'll say about this, um, Eddie Van Halen does the score for it, and there's a lot of songs that he played that ended up becoming like Van Halen songs, uh, Good Enough, I think was one of them, Right Now, and a song off A Different Kind of Truth, um, Blood and Fire, Ripley, one of my all-time favorite Van Halen riffs, but that's a whole other video. Welcome to the Dollhouse, Wayne's World, Twin Peaks, which I don't know if I mentioned it before, but like when I bought the uh, VHS tapes, I noticed that the pilot wasn't with it. And I was like, oh, man. And I somehow remembered, I think, a few minutes after getting bummed out that I actually had it on Laserdisc. Shadow. We had a copy of this growing up. My dad had it, and I had to buy it. The Return of Spinal Tap, the 90s reunion concert. I don't think this has been officially released. I think maybe in overseas markets. But I don't think any anything in the States. Phantom of Paradise, one of my all-time favorite movies. Ridley Scott's Legend. Oh. Highlander, the director's cut. I remember when this came out, seeing an ad for it, and it was like $70 on Lakers. I bought this for five bucks. Kind of laughed when, on my way to the car after uh, leaving the store. 
the theatrical version of Highlander. I grew up watching this, and then the director's cat came out. We just never watched the theatrical one again. Uh, Full Metal Jacket. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I think this is really Scott's first feature film. I'm not too sure. The Duelists. Clockwork Orange. Chinese Connection. The international version of Blade Runner, the Criterion Collection, did. This has the voiceover, I think, and it's, I think, a little bit more violent than the uh, U.S. version. The Director's Cut. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and for the record, I absolutely loved Face the Music. And I think I got one more. Back to the Future Part 2, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Hey, look, the original cover of Open Up and Say Ah, oh, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. So here is my DVD collection. I uh, followed Rob Zombie's advice. He was on uh, Cribs back in the day, and he said, if I see it, I buy it. And I did just that for nearly 20 years. And I have downsized. I haven't downsized recently, but I downsized quite a bit when we moved in. So here's what's left. And I don't really have any plans on getting rid of any more. So... Let's check out the collection. On top, I have my uh, TV shows. And Kissology. And then I got two rows, so in the back and then in the front. And real quick, that is my lovely, beautiful wife. She used to be a model, and when we got together, she gave me a bunch of 8x10s, and I decorated down here and in my work locker with them. I don't ever plan on getting rid of my DVDs. Because some of the stuff I really don't see a point in getting on Blu-ray or even 4K. And most of the, some of the stuff, like, when it got put on other formats, didn't have, like, the special features and stuff with them. So, I kept, like, I'm a features guy, so, like, that's one of the reasons I kept it. That, and there's some of these, can't name any off the top of my head, that, like, they have, like, alternate versions and whatnot that didn't make it to other formats. So, that's... A couple reasons why I kept all these. I have to brat. Nah, I can't get to it. I'm just gonna show you my crown jewel. There'll be another post though. These are the end of mine, and then oh, my bad answer at the top. So yeah, these are the end of mine, and then starting down here is my wife's collection and when me and my wife got together i was looking at their dvds that surprised me the maniac i was like shocked i was like you've seen that movie and then she's like uh yeah so i was just like amongst other things i was like this one's a keeper she's got maniac in her dvd collection for the record also my wife's a huge spice girls fan i think i bought that for her So there it is. I tried not to spend too much time talking about it. Just kind of give an overview of my not so infamous DVD library. Hopefully next video, oh, it'll either my uh, basement theater will be near completion or just a progress video. You know, either one. I haven't decided yet. Still new at this. Thank you for tuning in. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. I will also provide my Instagram in the description below as well. Um, again, thank you. And um, until next time.